Hi there from not so sunny North Carolina. It's been a while since I made a video but I don't like to make these unless I've got some good things to say and update you about and answer some questions. So today I'm going to be talking about generators and how you might be able to hook them up to the Generac power cell system. Whole house power that Generac has come out with as an addition to their original power cell system like I have now and some other improvements to the system that may not even be out yet. So hang around and we'll cover everything. I've gotten several questions from people about being able to hook up a generator to their power cell system because Generac said they were coming out with that capability this fall. And I can tell you that they have come out with what's necessary to make that happen. But first we need to talk about some aspects of generators. And first is, this can be done and is meant for when the system is in islanding mode. In other words, when the grid is off and you're depending on your batteries and your solar power to power your house. The second thing is we got to talk about generators and their type of power. There are clean power generators and dirty power generators. Clean power is defined as what you see coming out of your wall outlet. 120 volts, 60 hertz, and they very rarely deviate from those standards. That is what is defined as clean power. Dirty power coming from a generator is usually coming from a portable generator, gasoline or propane powered. It might be around 120 volts. It might be around 60 cycles or 60 hertz, but not close. You can usually adjust them to get close to that, but it can be hard to maintain it. Why is this important? Because this box, that box right there, the inverter, senses the power coming in. And it can tell if it's clean power or not. What's coming in from the grid is, and what comes in from your and what comes out of your inverter is clean power. And the inverter won't let power go through it that isn't clean. That's be, that'll be important as we move on to understand that. Before I get into the how you hook them up, let's talk about why you might want them. I can see two purposes for a generator hooked into the power cell system. One would be to power the house loads when you're out of solar power, there's no sun out in other words, and your panel's producing nothing and your batteries are dead. Yet you still want to be able to power the loads in your house if you have a generator available to you. The second reason would be is to recharge the batteries, the power cell batteries, these over here, if they're low and you have no to little sun. This would allow you to keep the house powered for longer periods of an outage, say, if you have an outage for two or three days after a hurricane. So what has come out that makes us able to hook a generator into the power cell system? Because right now I can't do that with my system. They came out with another Generac power cell system component. It's called an automatic transfer switch and it is made to work with the Generac power cell system. By the way, I did price one, I was able to, and it came in at around $915. This is the Generac automatic transfer switch, 100 amp. I found it on the SunWatts site, website, for $950, 100 amp. You could get it at different prices, I believe. I found one at $915 on a different webpage. So shop around. And now you know what to ask your installer if they're charging you for it because you have some idea what it costs. This is the Generac whole house power diagram. As you can see up here at the top is the PV links, the solar panels. Here's the battery, the power cell inverter that is makes up the system as I knew it. And here's the brand new automatic transfer switch. And notice it's shown here connected on the house side of the grid 
of the meter, the electric meter. Here's your electrical panel for the house. I want you to understand that where my cursor circling is and below it is where you would have a generator on the diagram and hooked into the automatic transfer switch at this point. Though every configuration is different and you would really need to consult with your solar installer and how they would want to wire it in to achieve the goal depending on whether or not you wanted to power the electrical panel and the house load to the right over here with the bat with the generator or you did not want to be powering the house from that but you would want to use the generator to charge the batteries which would be hooked up and then go through the inverter and into the battery to keep the batteries recharged this is the IQ 2000 as it says a residential inverter portable generator this is capable of producing clean power I just wanted you to see this as an example there are many companies that make inverter generators not only Generac this is about 1600 watts which would probably be a really good size for recharging the batteries in the power cell battery unit if you were if they were low and you had no other way to charge them from the solar in a power outage okay we're going to be talking now about from the automatic transfer switch over here through the electrical panel and into the smart management modules that are also made by Generac and those are feeding various loads or circuits in your house like it shows here the refrigerator could be the kitchen lights it could be the bedroom it could be anything in the house that's powered by electricity can be managed by this system these are the power cell load management options that you'll need the components between the automatic transfer switch and the circuits in the house this will allow the ATS controller to manage your loads depending on how you set it up and how what what circuits would be powered at certain times it's a little more complicated than that and your installer could explain that to you the sure start HVAC soft start is a nice component it's actually from a different company not Generac but what it does is it allows you to start medium to small air conditioning units up which without it the power cell system can't generate that initial surge of current that you need to start your system this over here is the current battery module that comes with the Generac power cell system the 2.85 kilowatt version this over here is the new improved one again I'm not sure when it's coming out but you can do it it does 3.0 kilowatts and it does operate over two times the optimal operating range of this battery with that being the area in green here on both sides so if you live in a area if you want to put it outside or you want or you have more extreme temperature differentials in the winter and the summer then this new EX battery would probably be of interest to you plus it has a little bit more storage capacity I hope you found this informative and interesting I know this is kind of dry material at times but for those who are really into understanding what these solar systems can do please continue to subscribe to the channel I'll put out more information in either response to questions or as I learn new information and I hope others are posting in the comments below these videos things that they're finding out as well about the system have a great day and remember, support your national parks.